Welcome back to Life with Aisha and today I'm going to be doing a review of some shoes that I've been having for a little while and I feel like this is long overdue just because I was super hyped to get my hands on these but um, without further ado let's get right into these. I had planned for these shoes to be a part of my top 10 pickups of 2018 but with the Christmas holiday they ended up shipping closer towards the end of the year so I said why not just do a separate video a separate review for these so today I'm unboxing the I hope I'm pronouncing it right Alayli May um Jordan ones it's the court Lux um biotech ones and these were women's only jordans i got mine in a u.s size eight which is equivalent to a six and a half u.s size um grade school so that's the size i wear in kids sizes before i get into this shoe i just want to say that i did purchase these through the sneakers app and i know i talk so much noise if you've seen any of my past sneaker vids probably every video i talk about the app but not to say that I don't still have my feelings about it, but the last, my last two attempts on it have been like successful. So I can't really just talk about it as much as I did at first, but nonetheless, I did purchase them through the app and I was super, I was super excited. And it's crazy because I always have all my stuff set up through PayPal just because it's like for protection purposes, like when you're purchasing something, even though, you know, Nike is a secure company, but I just always do everything through PayPal and I just like my business account is through PayPal. So I just use PayPal a lot, but yeah, so my paypal is linked to my sneakers account my nike account and i got an email from through paypal first and it was like this amount right here has been taken out well it's pending to be taken out of your account once the um, merchant or something approves the payment or something like that so i automatically knew i was like well if they took this money out of my account I clearly got the shoe because on the sneakers app they do like this um you're in line wait you're in line to get the shoe type of situation and i had other links up like i had my finish line link up i had um like four or five other links up it was i think they released on nordstrom it was a lot of different websites and i was ready because i was like i have to get my hands on this shoe and yeah, so when I clicked back on the app after I got the email, that's when I had the little got them um, message or whatever. And I was super excited, shared it on Instagram and everything. And for a lot of other like fellow um, female sneakerheads, because we were all like talking about getting this shoe. So this is how the shoe looks. And it is so freaking colorful and just just a thing of beauty in my opinion a lot of people had mixed um opinions on this shoe and i was one of them when i first saw that this shoe was going to be releasing and i saw it i was just kind of like so of course they have something like this for women and not to say i didn't like the shoe at first but it was really just the fur right here on the tongue which i'm going to get into but i was not a fan of that at all and i was like I I don't I mean I live in the south in warmer climates I don't really see the need for me to have fur on my shoes you know so I was kind of like taken aback by it but the more pics came out the more I started reading on the design aspect and like the behind the scenes of how the shoe was made and the concept of it I realized and understood and understood more in depth for why it was like that um just to give a little background alaylee may she's like a stylist she's based out of la and i've been following her for a good amount of years like for probably like mid 2000s early 2000s something something in that range and she's always been like super like dope to me like her style has just been like she's kind of like a mixture of like high-end fashion meets streetwear which i'm kind of more into like streetwear urban fashion and stuff like that so i can relate to her fashion sense and that's the basically the concept and the meaning behind the fur being on the tongue of the shoe is because she's into like high fashion and different things like that but th this is removable so let's just get into the specs of the shoe they do come with these extra laces and it's like a baby blue kind of color it's the same color as the nike swoosh check right here and 
I thought that was super cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep the black laces that are already in the shoe or if I'm going to switch to these. I may do two looks like when I first wear them, I may just keep the black in. It really just depends on what outfit I wear with them. But what I thought was so cool about the shoe is that with it being a Jordan 1, but it being pretty much, well, not pretty much, the shoe being completely all suede. And you don't really get that on Jordan 1s. Normally, um, a Jordan 1 is pretty much all leather or some are pan leather so for it to be all suede i thought that was very cool also even though i do plan on removing the fur off my tongue i think that it's extremely cool that it actually came on the shoe so yeah i just think that is so dope when you open the shoe up like you pull back the tongue you're gonna see like this kind of like tan color it's kind of like this vachetta tan um leather that's behind the tongue of the shoe and in the inside of the shoe as well and when you take out the little shoe tree or whatever the inside of the shoe is also leather and it has her signature in the shoe and it's kind of like a quilted leather material so i'm like this is really a well-made shoe like the quality of it is everything to me is well put together i don't see any like you know how you get some shoes and you're like yeah right there they should have like been a little bit better with the cutting and putting the shoe together but I don't have that feel at all like I feel like it was very well made put together and I really wanted this shoe because just of the aspect of a woman designing a shoe even in 2000 what 19 now but this shoe came out in 2018 um it's still like a huge thing for a woman to design a shoe with Nike or just any company in general so I always try to like get sh um, shoes that are by women and stuff I remember when Vashti she came out with the um, I think was she, was she the first woman um, to do a shoe with Jordan I think she was I'm not mistaken she was but I grabbed those Jordan 2's that was years ago I think that was in 2000 nine or ten i can't be for sure but i have those somewhere in my storage but it was the vashi twos and i had to get the shoe because i love her fashion as well so i'm always here for women empowerment and just women doing things in fashion and streetwear it's all such a cool idea and concept to me something that i would love to do one day because i'm really into fashion and i'm going to take this off just so you can see it has four little clasps here and so this is all removable and underneath that you have the Nike Air right there on the shoe so that's pretty cool but yeah that's how I'm gonna be rocking mine I'm gonna be wearing mine without the fur on it I actually plan on wearing these very soon I don't typically like undies my shoes too too quick unless I'm really in feeling the shoe so that shows that I really love the shoe the sole of the shoe is kind of um on pictures I thought the sole was completely white but in person it's kind of um a bit of an off-white um color it's not extremely like that really distinct all white color but it's kind of i could say it's kind of like a pearl um kind of an off-white color which i think is really nice and really brings the shoe together this is how the bottom of the shoe looks but it has so many colors in it you have kind of like this um kind of navy color here i want to say the color here and the color on the toe is the same but this one does look like it's a little bit deeper then the, the color on the toe box then you have this like red orange color here you have the baby blue on the nike check you have this um i would say it's like a pale pink in the midsole here and the tongue is completely black suede you have the black gone around the laces the lace area and at the back of the shoe you have like this purple color but it's more of like a purple plum color We'll show you side by side of the shoe. So this is just how it looks without the fur on the tongue. And this is how it looks with the fur on the tongue. But yeah, I absolutely love the shoe. It's really well put together. And I hate that I wasn't able to get her last pair. I will insert a picture of those. But they were like pretty much all, they were like black and gray. It was kind of similar to the shadow, shadow colorway. But it had like, it was more of a metallic silver color. And... I definitely want to get my hands on those. Those are gone for like, I think the lowest price I saw for those was like 600 some dollars. And 
I'm just not spending $600 on the shoe. I'm really, I really don't want to spend $200 on the shoe because, I mean, I have a small foot. But if I find one, I would say in the two, three hundred range, I may have to grab them. But yeah, I'm still on the lookout for it. Yeah, when I first saw the shoe, I was a bit taken aback. I was like, I was a lot of colors. But then when I kept looking at it, I was like, the, the colorway, it just kind of reminds me of something. So when I did, like I was on, I think it was Sneaker News and Modern Notoriety. Had on there about how it was inspired by the Viotech Dunks. And I was like, okay, ding, 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 makes sense. Because I knew that the colorway looked a little similar, but I couldn't put my finger on like why does that shoe colorway look similar to me because i knew it wasn't an og colorway but i'm like it just looks similar to me but the Valtech dunks um that came out back in the early 2000s if i'm not mistaken and i hate i didn't get my hands on those because i remember when they released in kid sizes but at that point i was not into like having suede on my dunks i was strictly into really wanting the leather and the panel leather dunks so i just didn't get them and when I think back on, I'm like, I should have grabbed those shoes, but is yes, they're inspired by those there shoes. There were some Jordan 10s that came out, the Maya Moore ones. Um, they had a similar colorway with the similar colors used, and it was all suede as well. I'm just not a huge fan. I like Jordan 10s, but I'm not a huge fan of how they look on my foot. So I didn't pick those up, but I do love the Jordan ones, and I like how they look on my foot. And... I just overall like the concept of this shoe so definitely if any if she does design any more shoes i will be trying to grab those as well those but i am happy to add these to my collection it's a dope shoe for all female sneakerheads i feel like to have extremely happy with my pickup so let me know down below if you were feeling this colorway if you feel like it's too much if you feel like um you will wear the fur on the shoe would you would you not like let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.